Hey guys, what's going on? So today I wanted to talk about backups. Backups on iOS devices. So this could be iPad, iPhone, even iPod Touch. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of got scared putting this video together. Um, I really had to rethink my backup strategy and I really had to think through, hey, if I was to lose this device and would I be able to actually recover from that? Because there really, there really isn't a ton of ways to backup files on iOS, not like there is on the Mac. Um, I came up with a few options that I think work really well for me. Um, I'm hoping they work well for you guys and maybe you can tweak them and make them your own. So let's kind of jump into it. Um, first though, I want to preface it by saying when I say backup, I don't mean adding a file to Dropbox and it syncs across to other devices. When I say backup, I mean there is a copy of that file, so the file that lives on my iPad gets a copy and it moves to another device. Not, um, and that, and it's a copy, it's not a synced copy, so if I delete it off my iPad, it doesn't sync in the other location, or it doesn't delete in the other location, those don't sync across. That other device could be a NAS here locally in my house, a server, or it could be a data center off-site somewhere. Um, so that's what I mean by backup. I, I just want to preface it that um, before we kind of get too far. So first off, let's um, talk about the obvious one, iCloud backup. Um, in every iOS device, you can backup um, using iCloud and it works great. It works really fantastic, especially if you have um, Apple's new two-factor authentication. Um, this will do an encrypted backup of all of your um, files and folders and apps and things like that. And that way, when you restore to a new device or restore... Um, to the same device if something happens to that device all your stuff's there um i think it's a really fantastic way to do it it just saves it's um every time you plug it in at night it, it syncs up so it only does one backup a day that is the one thing i wish i could get a little bit more of i wish i could get two maybe three backups a day that'd be really nice the other thing, how you could get two or three backups a day, is doing manual backups with iTunes. This does require having a Mac or a PC, um, and you have to plug it. You have to plug your iOS device into it. Um, you can do an encrypted backup. So if you you know want to have that password, that extra level of security. Plus, if you do an encrypted backup versus a non-encrypted backup, encrypted backups back up more stuff like passwords and things like that, so you don't have to re-enter them. I I really don't like using iTunes, um, especially because I have to go plug it into a Mac that's sitting underneath my TV and after it's it's just a whole big old deal plus you can't use your device while it's backing up so it does take time it's slow it's kind of inconvenient but it's there if you need it the next one I want to talk about is cloud storage options and I know I said backups when you put a, a file in Dropbox and it syncs to another device that's not a backup and it's not but the nice thing because everybody uses them especially if you're on iOS uh, using cloud storage drives or um, they're a big part of the way you work on iOS. Um, a lot of them, like Dropbox and iCloud Drive, they offer a service if you go to their website um, on recovering files that you delete. So I know Dropbox for the personal account had, goes up to 30 days. If you have a business account, it's 120 days. iCloud Drive has that feature built in as well. You just have to go to their website and you can recover the files. Um, so far in my testing, both of them have worked fine. I wouldn't rely on this. Don't make this the, um, hey, I don't need to worry about back, backing up my files because if I delete something, I could just go recover it from their website. Because I would, I would not rely on this at all. This is a handy feature. If it works, great. It's going to save you a ton of time. But if it doesn't, honestly, I, yeah, I just, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on it. The other thing that I do, and I think it's kind of cheating, because um, you know, I, I work primarily off iOS. I don't really, I don't have a Mac on my desk. I don't do anything with a Mac, other than the fact that I have a Mac server, and that's mostly used for Plex and some development stuff and some things like that. But I also have Backblaze running on that. And Backblaze is meant to back up media and things like that. But I also have Dropbox and iCloud Drive on there. So my files, which all my files, all my project files, everything gets either saved to Dropbox or iCloud Drive. And I have a very confusing system on why I use two. But basically when Backblaze will take that off my Mac, so it'll see that those files got synced from my iPad over to those services, which gets synced onto my Mac, and then Backblaze, which is a backup cloud solution, and there's other ones um, out there, I just personally like Backblaze, um, takes it and it uploads to their servers. Now, I know not everybody's going to be okay with this. I know a lot of people are very protective about their data, and they don't want it being uploaded to servers they don't know about. So, 
If you're not okay with it, totally understandable. But for me personally, it's more about having peace of mind that if I delete my old video that I need now, I can just go and recover it from Backblaze. That's really important to me. The last solution that I kind of use, and it's not, it's Git. Um, and most of you probably have heard of GitHub. If you're not a programmer or anything like that, basically it's a way of sending your development projects, whether it's an app, a website, program, whatever, to Git. And you can pull previous versions of the files. You can save, you can, you can do all sorts of pull requests and things like that. I'm not going to get into what Git is. Uh, but basically it's, it's a form of backup and really what I'm using isn't Git. It's not a Git service or anything like that. I'm calling it Git because I needed another name other than backup because um, I have a 50 different things called backup and I needed something else that just wasn't backup and Git was the first thing that came to mind. But I have a folder on my server now. It's called Git. And as I'm working on scripts, video projects, photo, edit photo edits, things like that, I just use the share sheet. I have a workflow that I run. It runs the Git. It opens up transmit and it goes straight to the Git folder and I can save it right in there um, and it saves the project. So I use a timer on in that every, when I'm working on like a video project or something that every 20 minutes it reminds me that, hey, up, um, save a copy. So I save a copy to Git. Uh, to my git folder that is and um there it is this is not a backup by no stretch is this backup it is not automatic it's user controlled so that means if i choose to ignore that then i don't have a backup for that 20 minute interval i don't like that i have to do this this is my way of basically doing version control for projects um if versioning was built into ios i don't i wouldn't be doing this at all this is just my way of making sure I'm able to have some sort of previous version of my file or project or whatever. So if something happens and that project gets corrupted or files get deleted or something, I can go back and recover from that. Um, and worst case scenario, I lose 20 minutes. I really, really want versioning in iOS. I think we don't have enough as it is when it comes to backups. When, um, as far as backups are concerned, I would say iOS is not getting a passing grade. This video really made me think a lot about my solution for backups. I, I think in iOS 12, really Apple has to do something about that. And I think versioning is going to be the solution. I think if, if we have versioning built in that syncs with iCloud, and can work with third-party apps, I think that'll take care of a lot of things. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I know this was kind of more of a scare video to like hey really think about this but i really do think everybody needs to think about their backup solution it's really important i'd hate for anybody to lose their files it's such a terrible feeling it's happened to me i've had hard drives that i didn't back up break like i said if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i'm trying to get to as many comments as i can but um i have been really really busy lately so i'm sorry if i haven't answered your question in the comments um, I'm going to try and do as much as I can. I may start doing like monthly Q and a videos, so that might help a little bit, but if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.